Well, I'm on Facts of Mars, and the Las Vegas BS just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Now they're saying, remember how they told, told us that Jose Campo, uh, Campos found, uh, you know, went up there and he helped break this up, and then the cops moved in. Uh, no, they didn't shoot the suspect. Uh, there wasn't any shooting up there. He shot himself, right? <laughs> Wrong answer. Las Vegas police says the officer accidentally fired a weapon inside the gunman's hotel suite. Accidentally? Um, uh, of course he didn't hit anybody. Didn't hit anything. Uh, like you said, the BS is getting deeper and deeper. A Las Vegas police officer responding to a shooting rampage there earlier this month accidentally fired a weapon inside that attacker's feet, but did not hit anyone, according to the county sheriff. Accidentally? How do you do that? I'm not getting that. Revelation came as a guess questions continue to surround. October 1 massacre, during which gunman Stephen Paddock perched in a high-rise hotel overlooking the Vegas Strip, fired at a country music festival far below. Paddock killed 58 people and injured hundreds more before shooting himself. Ah, uh, but you know we were told the cops never fired at him. And now they're saying, well, yeah, they fired a gun, but it was accidental. Come on, give it a rest. One month after the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history, key details remain a mystery, chief among them, who prompted the attack. Investigators have not publicly disclosed the motive for the shooting, nor have they said whether panic and additional plans or targets. Uncertainty, uncertainty is also swirled around the timeline of what happened that night. Panic, armed with an arsenal of rifles and cache ammunition, opened fire from the 32nd floor suite at Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. Police said the hotel's owner, owners have offered multiple times contradictory Timelines creating confusion in the days after the attack. In other words, they keep changing the story to keep us confused. News that an officer fired inside Panic's hotel suite does not appear to change that timeline again or, uns or substantially alter the police account of the shooting, but it is a small additional detail that had not been previously made public. In other words, they got called, uh, caught in the line and they figured they better tell us before somebody came out and said, Hey, you people are lying, which I already know they're lying. Joseph Lombardo, the Clark County Sheriff, told the Las Vegas Review-Journal that an officer inadvertently fired his weapon, give it a rest, after officers entered Paddock Suite, the officer was not identified. It happened and we're investigating it just like we do with any officer involved to use the force. But he wasn't using force, he said it was an accident. There's a contradiction right there, they just contradicted themselves. Lombardo told the newspaper, nobody was charged. Right! It's not clear how many rounds the officer fired during. When exactly happened. Las Vegas police did not immediately respond to a request Tuesday for further information about the incident. Unbelievable. I'm half, half on the Washington Town Post, you know what I mean? At least they are questioning things in its time. Hardly what I expected. And it's a accident, no big deal. Don't give me this, alright? Gun is uh, equipped with this thing called a safety. You don't just accidentally you know, just push the room and accidentally fire. Don't give me this. I do have 
had guns for hunting purposes, along with me, uh, brother was keeping me out of woods and keeping me from getting game. Like I said, the BS is getting deeper and deeper. The very stop feeding the uh, cow wax lax. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.